guys get like a bonus. All right, so now for your next worksheet, what you guys are going to be doing is practicing factoring difference of two squares. So by factoring, all I'm asking you to do is, again, just rewrite it as a product. Now, today, I've talked about how to factor with three terms, right? I've showed you how to factor with four terms. Now we're going to look at one of the possible ways to factor out when we have it as two terms. What the important thing you guys need to understand, just because it has two terms does not mean you have to factor by difference of two squares. Because we can only factor with difference of two squares when it is in the form of a squared minus b squared. That means I have a square number minus another square number. So let's go and look at example number one. In example number one, what we need to make sure we have is a squared number minus another squared number. So is x squared, can that be written as a number squared? Yes, just x squared, right? And then can 9, can I rewrite that as a number squared? 3 squared, right? So therefore, if I wanted to like, get even more, so I could say a equals x, b equals 3. You don't have to do that, but I'm just kind of breaking it down for you. All right, so if you have something that's in this form, then what is the factored form? Well, you can do it other ways, but one way you can look at this, a squared minus b squared, you can just write this as a minus b times a plus b. Really alleviates a lot of work that, you've, that we've had to do for those other two factoring problems. So it's a minus b times a plus b. So therefore, in this case, since I'm saying a equals x and b equals 3, the factored form of this problem, x minus 3 times x plus 3. Well, that's pretty basic, wasn't it? Not too bad. Um, now, for this problem, I need to determine, is 16x to the fourth, is that a square number? Can I rewrite 16 as a number squared? Yes, I can write it as what? 4 squared. Can I write x to the fourth as a number squared? Yes. Yes, you could. Very good. That's another way you could work on this. I was trying to hit to a certain point, but yes. You could look at this and say, well, they both share a common factor of 4, right? So that's a very good point. We could do that. Um, I'll still solve the way that I was looking into solving it. Let, um, actually, that still has x squared, right? Or to that point? All right, so that still works. Um, but yeah, I was going to show you a certain part um, from this. So this, now the only difference of this is your 4, yes, would be multiplying through. Um, but are, we still have a problem. Can we write x to the fourth as a square number? x squared squared. Yes, but you, you can, though. You can rewrite this as x squared squared. Because when you, raise, when you take an exponent and raise it to a power, what are you doing with them? Adding or multiplying? Multiplying, right? Very good. And then I can do 100 squared, which would be 10 squared, and then y squared. If you're going to do it this way, you'd have 2 squared, x squared squared, minus 5 squared, y squared. All right. Now, either way, ladies and gentlemen, what I want you to understand is we can break this up into 4x squared minus 10y squared. I'm sorry, 10y squared. Over here, you could break this up as to 4 times 2x squared minus 5y squared. All right? Oops. And I'm doing it just two different ways. It doesn't really matter. The only difference is this is just being all being multiplied by 4. And this one is not being, you're not being, you haven't factored out at 4. But now you guys can see that if I want to solve this out, it's just going to be 4x minus 10y times 4x plus 10y. This would be 4 times 2x minus 5y times 2x plus. Two x plus five y. All right, and ladies and gentlemen, can I multiply this by my two x minus five y, two x plus four y? Two x squared. Oh, that's supposed. 
Why did I mess that? I forgot to write this one. I'm sorry, I messed this up. This would still be squared, right? And that's 4 squared. Good. That one should be 2. That should be squared. Why is this different? What did I do? What did I do wrong? I messed something up. Doing it two different ways is not good. No, but they're not the same. They should be exactly the same. shouldn't matter which way I did it. <laughs> 